Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, The Little Known Story by Sor Maria of Abrera. In 1950, Pope Pius XII solemnly proclaimed the dogma of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, thus exalting the mystery that embraces the Mother of Jesus, our Lord, Savior, and Redeemer. The dogma teaches us that Mary was assumed into heaven, body and soul, a privilege unique among mortals. Jesus being God and man ascended body and soul to heaven by his own power. And secondly, Jesus grants this privilege to his blessed mother to be assumed into heaven, body and soul. Mary, for having been conceived with that original sin, and for having humbled herself as the handmaid of the Lord, and for having been filled with heroic virtues, acquired the sanctity superior to that of all the angels and saints, she obtained the merit of being the mother of Jesus. That is why we call her Mother of God. Also, the dogma proclaimed by the Church, and Jesus made Mary her mother, the mother of all the children of God, when in the person of John he said to her, Woman, there is your son. And to all humanity in the person of John, he said to each one of us, There is your mother. The mystery of Mary elevates us to contemplate the perfect holiness that exists in our heavenly mother, who being free from sin did not have to pass through death and corruption. Christ, without being a sinner, accepted death to redeem us from sin. Mary, because of her holiness, did not have to die. However, she had a holy death as told in the story of Sister Maria of Agreda, and then she was assumed body and soul to heaven to participate in the throne of God, where she was crowned as Lady and Sovereign Queen of Heaven and Earth. Of all creation, visible and invisible. The following is part of the account of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary as told by Sister Maria of Agreda in her book, Mystical City of God. The Apostles stood in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who began to take leave of them, speaking to all of them individually and to some of the disciples, and then to the rest of those present, of whom they were many. Her words, like covers of divine fire, penetrated the hearts of those present, and all bursting into streams of tears and irreparable sorrow, prostrated themselves on the ground. After an interval, she asked them to pray with her and bore her in silence, and they did so. In this by stillness the human word descended from heaven, and the cynical house was filled with glory. Mary most holy adored the Lord, who offered to take her to glory without passing through death. The most prudent mother prostrated herself before her son, and with a joyful countenance said to him, My son, and Lord, I beseech you that your mother and servant may enter into eternal life through the common door of natural death, like the other children of Adam. You, who are my true God, suffered it without being obliged to die. It is right that as I have tried to follow you in life, I should also accompany you in death. Into your hands Lord, I commend my spirit. Christ approved of the sacrifice and will of Mary most holy, and the angels began to sing with heavenly harmony. And although of the presence of the Savior only some apostles, with St. John, had special illustration, and the others felt with themselves, within themselves divine and powerful effects, but the music of the angels was perceived with the senses by many of those who were there. 
the Mary Most Holy reclined on her bed with her hands folded and her eyes fixed on her divine song. And when the angel sang, Arise, make haste, my friend, my dove, my fair one, and come, for the winter is past. Canticles 2 verse 10. In this voice she added those of her most holy son on the cross. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Luke 23 verse 46. She closed her virginal eyes and breathed her last. The disease that took her life was love, and the way was that the divine power suspended the miraculous help that preserved her natural strength so that she would not be consumed by the ardor and sensitive fire that divine love caused her. That most pure soul passed from her virginal body to the right hand of her most holy son, where in an instant she was placed in immense glory, and then it was felt that the music of the angels was moving away because the whole procession went to the Empyrean heaven. The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary teaches us that we are children of God and we are all called to holiness. Our sin will not allow us to have privileges similar to those of the Queen of Heaven, but we have the hope of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal life in Christ Jesus. That is our faith. Blessed be God. Let us pray much to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Heavenly Mother, Lady and Sovereign Queen, full of grace. Her intercession will help us in our spiritual struggle and will obtain for us eternal goods in her Son, Jesus. Let us pray with much devotion the Hail Mary to obtain many graces from our Mother, Lady and Queen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us also pray this prayer that pleases our Heavenly Mother so much and that grants graces through the devotion to the miraculous medal, according to the revelations to Sister St. Catherine Labore. Let us unite to all nations and let us pray with much devotion to our Blessed Mother. En español, O oh María, sin pecado concebida, ruega por nosotros que recurrimos a ti. In English, O oh Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. In Italiano, O oh María, concepita senza pecado, Prega per noi que recorriamo a te. En portugués, O oh María concebida sin pecado, rogai por nos que recorremos a vos. Popolsku, O oh María besejo posenta, muro se zanani, tu se se do chevia. En francés, O oh María concisa en peche, prie por nos que avon recor a vos. Of touch, O oh Maria, on a Sunday in Tangen, bete fiorungs, diver sudir on sere suflach nemen. Sa Filipino, O oh Marian i pinaglin walang kasalanan, i panalangin mo kaming dumudulog sa ilyo. Nach Maston, O oh Mario, masheta mentrieha, modi manas matise operatimo. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share it on social networks, and please don't forget to leave your comments. God bless you.